This is Dabu7. Big announcements today in regards to Mars. Scientists stating, and they've known this for some time in my opinion, they're stating that they have discovered flowing water on Mars. Game changing. No matter how you look at it. Because life exists at the bottom of the deepest salt oceans on this planet. The darkest spots. There's microbial life. And they've stated that there are, are massive... These areas where massive lakes existed. One is in Yellowknife Bay where they say it's prime for microbial life. So we have the admission that there is water flowing here although they're saying that what they're detecting is salty meaning it's briny it has salt inside of it and this is that makes sense because salt will allow the water to not freeze you see and it will allow it to get to the surface and somehow they're saying that it looks seasonal that these tracks these flows of water are being released when it's warmer and disappearing in the winter. But what is odd is that it's taken place near the equator, which you normally do not find ice. They've, they've found it and discovered large pockets in the polar regions, which is another huge announcement. They have ice, and I've said this time and time again for those that's been following me, that Mars here is going to be the key. And to open the minds of the people, and there's going to be deception woven in there, no doubt. You have to use discernment. We're dealing with NASA, all these people that have been keeping these things from us for the longest time. But for some reason now, here just a couple days before they dropped this movie called The Martian, they're stating they have discovered flowing water on Mars. And that is game-changing. This is definitely game-changing. I'm going to tell you why. Because from here on out, all the guys that were discovering things and seeing things on Mars that were called nuts or conspiracy nuts uh, are, are not. They're going to be looked at like, oh, wow, maybe you did find something. Maybe that is a structure now. Okay, because what? Once The only people arguing with you are the sheep because they've been spoon-fed lies their whole life. But now that... They're about to come and open Pandora's box, which they just have. Because a decade ago, they told you where you find water, there is life. They just told you. They discovered salt water flowing on Mars. I think that they're trying to get a gauge on how intelligent people out here are too. On, or just how ignorant some other people are going to be all the way up to the end and that's going to work to their advantage in this deception but the, what they're telling you is that there's flowing water even though it's briny it has salt in it that's it makes perfect sense it, that's why it's there in existence on this cooler planet you know that we know of all of science is twisted just to fit what they want us to think you see this changes everything because now you have to start to explain or start at least searching for where is the water coming from because they're not giving a definite for where that's coming from. There could be an underwater aquifer. Come on, guys. Use your brains. We have them here on this planet. They make for the biggest freshwater resources that we have underground aquifers. Why would Mars be any different? And if they're discovering salt water flowing on the surface of this planet, I can guarantee you there is water underground on this planet. In mass. And if it exists and lives here on this planet, it looks to me like it's the same there. The questions that are going to start coming out the woodwork is what happened to Mars. And that's going to have its own deception tied into it, in my belief. They're not going to just come out because they're going to have to explain everything. And to me, even if you look at the myths, the myths state that Mars was destroyed in war. Do your research. Even symbolized war. 
But regardless, there's a lot of digging to do, and this is a big admission. And I was hoping it was going to be along the lines of a fossil they discovered, but this this does the job just fine. They've discovered flowing water, and you could say, oh, well, it's salty water. Who cares? Salty water here on this planet has mass life in it. It's time people open their minds up and see what's going on right in front of them. They expect disclosure to be them come out and say that all these ships are in the sky. What if they're going about it a different way where they can still manipulate you and what you think of about your history? Regardless, this is a big admission. And I think it's time that people out there start to understand that this is the beginning of them telling us that there is life outside of this planet guaranteed for the first time. It's a common sense factor where you find water, especially in an area like this, as hospitable as this, even though it looks destroyed and wasted and we can't see no surface water and all that doesn't mean anything. The fact that there's flowing water there is huge. They know it. They have known this. So what this makes me believe is that they've discovered something even bigger. And now it's time to speed this whole thing up because if they want to get this where they want to get it and actually get to trying to go, go to Mars or explain how they're already there, <laughs> they're going to have a lot of explaining to do and they better start talking quick. And it's all, all going to begin with this water or they could say hey we're going to go there and risk this whole mission all this stuff never knowing that there was water there but no this this is big time if they know it's there and can study it can find out where it's coming from and can draw from it and can then draw the salt out of the water just like they're doing on the west coast in california desalination plants going up it's a process they throw up a dome get a greenhouse going start feeding water into this area, fresh water to let it grow. They could do some things. And that's the amazing thing. And the thing that's always bothered me is the deception. NASA keeping us in the dark about everything. And even though they're telling us this, there's so much more they're keeping from us, obviously. There's life and life everywhere, in my opinion. All these planets, even this one, there always has been. For some reason, they're deciding now is the time to tell the masses. To me, they're saying life is on Mars. That's what it screams to me. It may take the rest of the class some time to catch up here to realize what they're saying, but I'm telling you, the writing is on the wall. And from here, every little artifact and structure that you find and see on this planet, you better start taking seriously. It could really be a big discovery. And I've told you before, they could be gauging us, seeing which ones of us are picking up on these things. Shoutouts to Street Cap, right? Thor, all the space guys out there that stay on top of stuff like this. Finding UFO. They put out real stuff, not third phase garbage. I'll leave a link. Who knows what they're going to say from here. It's been Dabu7, Eyes to the Skies.